Do you feel like your life has led up to this point? I think this, yeah, this was how I met you. This was meant to be. Like, it was for this purpose, you know, bringing biomed to the masses. <laughs> was it, did you start going out with me because you like YouTube? <laughs> was Because you wanted that YouTube dollar. I wanted that fame. You knew that you wanted to, like, steal the show from me. Because mm -hmm. obviously once they hear you, everyone's going to fall in love with you. And they'll be like, right, Harvey, stop making videos. Now that Julie's here. I'm going to take definitely. over your channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And fill it with cats. <laughs> I mean, there was a philosopher, I can't remember which one it was, but he said that um, if you can't work out someone's motivation, mm. just look at the result. And the result <laughs> is that you are on my well, YouTube like channel. like reverse. Re reverse engineer. <laughs> look at it in the reverse. Yeah, reverse engineer the motivation from Yeah, from the look, here we are now. Well, I'm going to do kind of gene expression, just like mm. what DNA actually codes for and how that leads to us. You see, I'm gonna, the only, the, the knowledge of gene expression I have is all um, as a means to an end for genetic algorithms in computer <laughs> science. So my questions are probably gonna be like, oh yeah, it's like this, isn't it? And you're gonna go, not really. <laughs> uh, and then after that, I'm gonna teach you a little bit about finite automata, mm. which you're probably going to recognise anyway, because I probably went on about it last year when I was learning it. Tell me about your topic. Okay, well... Gene expression. Yes. Well, there's like a really key principle um, in molecular biology known as, um, it's called the central dogma. Excuse my terrible handwriting. Writing in cursive, that's a bold choice. Oh no, I'm going to regret everything now, aren't I? <laughs> You've got to be consistent as well, you can't stop now. From now on. Like, my handwriting is atrocious as it is, but I'm okay. Okay, so it's known as the central dogma, and um, it's, so we have genes and DNA, mm -hmm. and some of our, yeah, some of our DNA is coding, so for genes. Um, coding like, like computer coding? Yeah, but for like, biological living organisms. Okay. So it's so, literally like the python So DNA is us. like a lovely little, okay, lovely little alpha helix structure. Yeah. Kind of akin to this, very recognisable. Would you say the way that you've driven it wobbly there is more accurate than the perfect double helix? Like, is DNA actually a perfect double helix, or is it kind of a no, 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 no. It, it's, it's like a polymer. It's a so polymer. It's, so it's got like little. It's not as like. It's it's actually more it's like um, linearly polygon rather linear. than like a curve. Yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? Because it's made of many little components, so mm. it's definitely not like straight. It's not like a curvy, lovely, nice continuous curve. Yeah. <laughs> a bit more rigid. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, so DNA packaged as chromosomes in us. Mm. And humans, we have 46 or 23 pairs. And yeah, so some of the DNA, as I said before, is um, coding for proteins. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, stuff that gives you pigments in your eyes, that gives you that colour for your eyes. My lovely eyes. Beautiful eyes. <laughs> and, yeah, so DNA, um, in terms of, as I said, it's double alpha helix. And it has, it's a polymer and it's made of nucleotides. So a nu the nucleotide is like the monomer component. Mm. Um, and you have like four like main types of nucleotides. And th their general structure is that they have like a phosphate group and a sugar. Which, Wait, phosphate like phosphorus? Uh, it has, yeah, like PO, it, PO4, it's... I think it is. Oh, PO4 okay. minus or PO3? Something like Something that. Something like that. Yeah. Because <laughs> 8 is, is O3 usually, isn't eight. it? Like calcium carbonate is yeah, O3. CaCO3. So it's probably PO3, 2 minus, I think. Okay. All right, I did AS level chemistry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I did A level, so hmm. yeah. <laughs> but it's constructed of phosphates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has, like, the nucleotide has a phosphate group, phosphate mm. head, and then it has a, um, so the D from DNA comes from um, deoxyribose, so mm. that's the sugar that's used, and then you have the base, and this is all, and this base is, like, the key component that you'll hear a lot of, because there's, um, this is what makes the different, the different, the monomers different, because you have uh, four types of bases, which are, um, so, for example, A pairs with T, you'll have heard a lot of but probably about this. Yeah. A pairs with T and G pairs with U, uh, C. These are the things which are like the strands in the DNA, aren't they? Um, are they yeah, they form across? strands. Yeah. So, so um, the phosphate and the sugar, they'll mm. form like the kind of what's known as the backbone 
of okay. DNA. And then the bases will face like kind of the inside and that will lead to like the oh, pairing, so the, the, phosphate. the hydrogen bonding between the pairs, between the complement. So the phosphate is actually the helix pairs. kind of squiggle itself. Um, if that's the backbone. Yeah, like the phosphate and the sugar are the actual backbone. Okay. And then the bases are kind of like, I think the visualizers kind of facing the inside. Well, it's like they, they're like ladders, aren't they? Like yeah, yeah, and then and the, yeah, and then the bonding, the hydrogen bonding between them will form the form, those, form the kind of ladders, the ladder steps, crossing the chain, okay, yeah, cool. linking the chains. And you've got pairs of A, T, and G, and C. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so RNA is like, um, so DNA is like a double stranded helix. Hmm. RNA is single stranded, oh. um, but it's otherwise it's quite similar um, to DNA because it still has like it's still a polymer made of kind of like nucleotides. Oh wait, so is that why it's dioxy for two? Um wait, deoxy. Oh deoxy. Deoxy. Sorry. Ah, that's to do with like the chemical kind of oh, okay. structure All right. of All it right. of the sugar. So RNA is like um ribo. So that's like ribo, like ribo yeah, because it's a ribo sh- ribose sugar. So it's I've just lack of... it's just um I think it has it has the oxygen. Well, I've heard of ribosomes because those are yeah, that's All like right. a different. Uh, it's kind. It's, different? it's linked. It's linked though because um, ribosomes are pro- like special proteins made out of um, RNA. Yeah, that's where I've heard yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but carry on. So <laughs> DNA goes to RNA. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so RNA they're very like structurally and like chemically similar. So RNA is single stranded though, and it still has the bases, but instead of a T, it has um, a U. Oh, okay. Base, so it's A paired with U. Yeah, A pairs with U. But then still G and C. Yeah, G and C okay. still the same. So, wait, so what is actually the difference between A, T, U, G and C? Um, so... Like, is it, isn't it that base? Yeah, they're like, ke- chemically, um, they're different. Um, there's, I don't know the exact details. Hmm. Um, and also, like, in terms of their pairing as well, they're different, because um, A and U, they form two hydrogen bonds. Whereas G and C, the pairing, they form three hydrogen bonds. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So there's actually a slight difference. Hmm. And there's, yeah, there's a definite difference. So is it kind of, it's well. like the structural difference between them is, is what makes them yeah. unique? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, um, I'm just going to be peppering you with like <laughs> random questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's good. And yeah. then, yeah, and there's actually a kind of like um, directionality as well mm-hmm. um, with DNA because um, in terms of how the monomers join, there's always like a f- kind of five prime end and a three prime end. What is what are the five? So and the three numbers, mean? the numbers are because of um, uh, the way they link together. So like when you add another kind of chain. Ooh, I'm kind of drawing o- I'm drawing over things. Don't be afraid I to probably, delete and I need to delete stuff. this. Yeah. yeah. So you have the DNA. It's red. DNA is red and it's turned into RNA. Okay. Um and then red is in RNA reading not the color red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's reading. I swear from the diagrams reading. the DNA is all sorts of colors. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. What color is DNA? Uh probably a very boring color. Probably just like pink. Pro- probably a very Probably a darkish kind Dark of boring. Gray. Or actually, it might depend what kind of. I don't know. Maybe you can like use some fancy dyes, and then you can turn yeah. it into nice colors Stain if it, you want. Depending on what like, genes are in Use some fluorescent green, pink dye or something <laughs> if you want. So it can be whatever you, you know? like it to be. Whatever there you want. So. Okay. What a lovely answer. <laughs> I'm going I'm to try and stop interrupting you. I'll let you get through your notes. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah. So RNA is kind of like the intermediate, and then. Um, so these genes, they're generally protein coding, so we'll assume that because that's the general like, principle mm-hmm. belief. And um, RNA will then be translated into proteins. So for each kind of like arrow, there's a lot that actually goes on. There's like different machinery and different complexes that form, mm. um, which enable this to happen. So this is known. This process from DNA to RNA is known as transcription. Ah, that's what transcription is. Yeah. And I think... I remember that those arrows themselves are simplifications. Like, there's feedback loops, isn't there? Of some degree? Um, yeah, there's like, there's different, um, yeah, there can be feed, there's definitely mm. feedback loops. So it's not that necessarily can inter- just that can interfere. Directional. Yeah, because, for example, you have like regulation of expression, that's important. Mm. Because, for example, like, if you have too much of something made, that can lead to like diseases or genetic yeah, diseases. Going wrong. Yeah. yeah. And then um, this process here is translation. Oh, so the first arrow is transcription. Yeah. And the second arrow and is the translation. Sec- yeah. Okay. That's the second. This is the second stage, where it's then um, read by the ribosomes, actually, hmm. um, and then it's translated into proteins and made of amino acids. 
So these are all like polymers. They're all, yeah. They're all polymer big, big molecules. molecules. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And then, and for example, like a nice little like link into how it's why this is important, how it's used is that like antibiotics, for example, mm. and they actually disrupt um, these process like parts of these processes. Oh. Um, and it prevents like the bacteria synthesizing and re- like replicating. Oh, of course, because this process is going this, on in the bacteria. Yeah, it goes on in like all in every like, all living basically life. Basically, all living organisms. So antibiotics target target this. Do they yeah, target transcription or translation or um, both? It can be well, depending on what antibiotic you use, it can do mm, both. Can yeah, it can be either. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. For some reason, I had it in my head. I was thinking like human DNA, and I was just kind of thinking like, yeah, humans. Yeah, you forget. And that. then you were like, oh, it's antibiotics un- target yeah, bacteria. Yeah, this is like a universe. It's quite a universal. Mm. Kind of you know, that's why it's like the central dogma the because it's kind oh, of like okay. it's kind of uh, yeah it kind of like applies really to most why, living organisms. Why is it called the the central dogma? Because <laughs> it's everything. Yeah. Wow, we're learning fundamental stuff here today. <laughs> Go on then. So Hope you enjoy so it. antibiotics can so that's that's kind of where this plays in in real in reality. Mm. Antibiotics can can kind of disrupt that process mm-hmm. because. This is the process that all organisms use to construct more proteins and like reproduce. Yeah, and yeah, stuff. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. What next? Oh, I think that's it from me. That's it. Fantastic. That's a nice little. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah, that was that was good. That was great. Um, <laughs> I hope it wasn't too boring. <laughs> let's see if I've got any other questions. So, so what pr- what kind of proteins might through. these are, these are like all proteins. This is this is the process by which all proteins in your body. I mean, this is like as with anything with science, like mm. there's always like exceptions to the rule. Mm. Like, so for example, viruses. Viruses are just RNA, so they don't have like the DNA side. Yeah. The DNA side to things, and they probably and they just go from like RNA to protein, or they might use your body's yeah. machinery. And they um they kind of reproduce inside cells, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So viruses are like really sneaky they they attack they like invade your body cells and they kind of um integrate their own genome Mm. um into your they might they they might use an enzyme that turns their rna into dna and then they'll put that like like for example retroviruses they have rna but then they'll like use an enzyme that converts it that actually this is why this is like it's a central dogma but actually you have things that like you can go this way yeah you can go back yeah because i remember seeing this in our bio-inspired lectures in computer science, and uh, they showed a more complete version, which had kind of free oh, forward and feedback and loops in the yeah, arrows. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I can't remember exactly how it was. Those bit of mm. Um But yeah, thank you very much. Problem. Cool beans. Thank you. And thank now, you. All right, now I get turn. to teach you about <laughs> Tell me. some finite automata. So I think we're going to swap places. Boop. So that I can swap. Have this. And swap.